More useful blocks. With the editing turned on, if we click the Add Block drop down, we can see that there are many blocks that can be added to our course, and it's worth exploring these by adding them and seeing what they do, and by looking at the Moodle documentation on each block. We'll just look at a few in this video. For example, there is an Activity Results block. Later in the course, we'll learn how to add a quiz and then, if you have the Activity Results block, you can add a competitive element on your course page where the highest scorers, or even the lowest scorers, can be displayed. You can use this block with other gradable activities too. The Comments block which allows your learners to add short little comments to either your course as a whole or to a particular activity. You can also add a random glossary entry block. Later in the course, we look at adding a glossary where learners can contribute items to the glossary and then the random glossary entry block will allow entries to be displayed on your course page directly. Another block is a tags block and this allows your learners to search for other learners with similar interests. If we take a look here, we can see that there's a tags block and if we click on any of the links, we will see the users who've put that as their interest. If we click cats, here are the people who liked cats. Let's take a look at another course page and we can see an example of the comments block. Some people have already made a comment and you would simply add your comment and save it. As a teacher, you're allowed to delete students' comments if you think they're not appropriate. And individual learners can delete their own comments, but not those of others. If we open this, Here's an example of the random glossary entry block. So why not go and take a look at some of the other useful blocks you can add to your course.